blood pressure can either be high or low, and both of them may cause health problems. If your blood pressure is too high, it could lead to a stroke, if it's too low then you might have symptoms like dizziness and fainting. In today's news update I want to talk about, a simple guide to reduce your blood pressure naturally. If you have any questions about this video, just call or text HEALTHY at 60 plus, at 609-410-4790. Now let's see what we have today. You should test your blood pressure regularly so that any potential issues are addressed as soon as possible. There are many natural ways to lower your blood pressure, such as exercise, reducing salt intake etc. Here are 8 easy lifestyle steps to take to help lower your blood pressure, and possibly save your life. Step 1. Limit Caffeine. Drinking too much caffeine can cause dehydration and high blood pressure, which is a bad combination. A lot of people drink coffee or other caffeinated drinks every day without realizing the risks they are taking with their health. Cutting back on your daily intake of caffeine will help you avoid these issues. Limit caffeine intake to 1 cup per day to avoid dehydration and keep your blood pressure in check, especially if you have high blood pressure already. Step 2. Drink plenty of water. It's not just a myth that drinking water can make you feel better, and have more energy. Simply drinking more water each day can help you maintain good blood pressure levels, and avoid the risks associated with high blood pressure. By increasing your daily intake to 1 liter, or 4 cups, per day, you can lower your risk for heart disease and stroke. Step 3. Keep your stress levels low. You have heard a lot about what to do to lower your blood pressure. But it's important not to forget the things that can raise it too, like stress. Luckily there are ways around this problem. For example, practicing relaxation techniques such as meditation or yoga can help you reduce stress levels, and keep your heart healthy. So next time you're feeling stressed out, take some time for yourself and breathe deeply. And here are 4 ideas to lower your stress. 1. Learn how to stop your stress before it starts. 2. Develop a strategy for dealing with the most common causes of workplace stress. 3. Discover new coping methods so you're not constantly looking for an outlet. 4. Train yourself with body awareness exercises. Step 4. Manage your weight. The best way to lower your blood pressure is by eating less junk food. Junk food has been linked to increased cholesterol levels, which in turn can lead to heart disease and stroke. A healthy diet that includes plenty of whole grains, Fruits and vegetables, lean proteins and low-fat dairy will help you lose weight while lowering your blood pressure. Just a reminder, here are 6 common junk foods. 1. Chips. 2. Cookies. 3. Candy. 4. Chocolate bars. 5. Ice cream and popsicles. 6. Soda. Step 5. Reduce salt intake. Reduce salt intake to no more than 2 grams per day through food choices and the use of herbs as an alternative seasoning in cooking. If you eat canned foods, make sure they are labeled low sodium or no added salt. Just repeating, excess salt intake can lead to high blood pressure, which is a major risk factor for stroke and heart disease. Step 6. Eat a healthy diet with lots of fruits and vegetables. An article in the journal BMC Public Health shows that people who ate an abundance of whole grains, vegetables, and fruits had a reduced risk of all-cause death, as well as death from cancer, heart disease, or stroke. People who consumed more unhealthy food did not have this same benefit. Additionally, researchers at the Harvard School of Public Health studied over 120,000 people, to find out that the more whole grains, fruits, and vegetables you eat, the longer you will live. So again, it is crucial to get your blood pressure under control. Hypertension can damage your kidneys, Increase stroke risk and cause heart disease. Following an antihypertension diet is a great way to start lowering your blood pressure, and should be the first course of action if you have hypertension. Step 7. Quit smoking and drinking alcohol. A study recently stated that quitting smoking and drinking alcohol can lower blood pressure. The research was conducted by the Institute of Social Medicine, Epidemiology and Health Economics in Germany. According to the researchers, People who had high blood pressure could reduce it significantly by giving up smoking and consuming less alcohol. Step 8. Exercise regularly. The American Heart Association published a study that included over 25,000 adults. 
The results of the study show that frequent exercise helps lower blood pressure in those with and without high blood pressure. Walking is one of the easiest ways to lower blood pressure. Even if you are not physically active now, it's never too late to start walking. To sum things up, there are several ways to lower your blood pressure. We talked about how important diet is in lowering blood pressure and keeping it low. And there are other things that you can do as well, exercise, relaxation techniques like meditation, yoga and tai chi, reducing stress, improving your sleep quality and quantity, get at least 7 hours of sleep each night, quitting smoking if you smoke, and keep a healthy weight. Okay, that's it for this video. But just one more thing. If you have any questions about this video, just call or text healthy at 60 plus, at 609-410-4790. Remember, there are many ways to deal with high blood pressure. At Healthy at 60 Plus we have a preferred method, called nitric oxide therapy. Click the link below this video to see a great explanation of nitric oxide therapy, and how it can change your life. To be informed of new videos just subscribe to this channel, and remember to click the bell icon. To view other videos about this same topic just click on either of these two video links. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Have a great day, and here is to your good health.